Yeah, we <laughs> pretty much plant all season long, so. No matter what plant you're planting, it's not really how it looks in April or May, it's how it's gonna look next summer or the summer after. It takes a little bit of patience, right? So. And not everybody has enough time to do it all at once. The ones we bought from Tom that are by our front window, those are probably third year or fourth year, and they're huge. The coolest thing about the website is the search feature. So first it's the process of trying to find out what size do I want and what's going to look good next to each other. And then, I mean, then it's easy from there. Put it in the cart, pay it, you're done. Because when you go to a garden center, you can see the plants that are there and you can look at the tag and look and see how big it's going to get and get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's all grown up. But online, you can do the same thing. You can, and then you can see, I, I also like the pictures because you can see different pictures of that same hosta, how it might look. Because not the pictures aren't always a true color, so that with a variety of pictures, you get a, an idea of what this is really going to look like. It's nice to narrow down if you want to, um, if you want a specific size plant or, you know, color or whatever. So it's, it, it's great to use. Most of them are large or medium or small. We have a couple of really large ones in the front and it's time to divide those. And we've got some spaces to put them back here. So for back here, we didn't want them to be too tall. We didn't want to obscure the view of the lower pond. With any plant, it matters where you put it and it matters about your soil. Because we've purchased a bunch of hostas from him. Some we put in front of the window. That's a perfect spot for them. It's got great dirt and they've gone crazy. But we put another one, some other ones underneath um, a tree that was too shaded and they didn't grow very fast. That's not the plant's fault, that's the location. So we just moved some of those in the back here. When you get the plants and they look small at first, but I, I think it's looking at the plants three years later. Because whether I buy it from a garden center and I have purchased from garden centers and they're larger at the time or purchased from Tom, then in, in two summers or three summers, they all are fully grown no matter where they started out. And they're really hardy too. I don't think we've had any that have, uh, that have died. I don't think so or either. Or even thought of returning, so. The variety and the search feature. That, and the price makes it worth it that they're smaller when you get them. I hope everybody enjoyed Karen and Joe's garden tour. If you would like to see more gardens like theirs, you can go ahead and subscribe. you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will be right along with us on all the gardens that we tour. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.